candy friends. Today I want to talk to you about calendula. Not to be confused with the French marigold. This grows in a bush type form. This is not medicinal to my knowledge. Calendula grows more in a single fashion and this is October's birth flower. It is anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antimicrobial, also as an antiseptic. You can make an astringent out of it. You can make a salve an oil, a tincture, it's got many medicinal uses, it's good for burns, cuts, insect bites, bee stings, it's good for dermatitis, psoriasis, this is also really good for rashes, chapped skin, I have really bad psoriasis in the winter, so if you want to come back and join me, we can make a cup worth of salve out of these ingredients that I have here, which are um, yellow beeswax pellets, cold pressed olive oil and cold pressed coconut oil as well as lavender oil and tea tree oil. So we're gonna actually make a video and make some, some salve. I would also like to talk to you about taking the seeds off. So this is an annual. It is self seeding meaning it drops its own seeds so as the flowers dry every flower will drop seeds. These are the seeds and basically what what happens is these drop and then they'll grow next year. So this is manual, but it is self-seeding. I come in and what I do is I save my seeds, as you can see here, so that I can plant them in other places next year. This is a very, very giving flower. I've already almost have the whole cup of dried flowers that I need to make the salve. And I'm actually gonna show you, you just harvest just like this, clean pair of scissors, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these to my drying mat and I'm going to dry these and add them to my dried flowers. And then we will use these same exact ones that I've grown here at our urban homestead and make a sap. So come join me again at Haley's Handy Homestead. Have a great day. And by the way, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Stay handy, friends.